Today, we got an exotic class item build. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Exotic class items are now back in Destiny and they do a lot more than before. Exotic class items smash multiple exotic perks into one exotic armor piece. So this is going to be me showing off the combinations that I think are worth showing off. I don't think I will ever show off every roll since some aren't going to be great combos. However, I suggest not deleting any roll that isn't a dupe since it could be viable later. The role on our relativism is going to be Spirit of Inmost Light and Grafalcon. Spirit of Inmost Light will allow us to enhance our abilities when one is used, allowing for increased regeneration. Spirit of Grafalcon will grant our void weapons volatile rounds after we emerge from invis. So how are we going to take full advantage of this exotic? Let's look at the subclass. If you want to use an exotic class item, you will have to use a prismatic subclass. For your super, you can really run whatever you want. I choose Silence and Squall, but I also wanted to run Tether. I didn't want to run Golden Gun because if you're running that, why aren't you running my other Hunter build? For Aspects, you will use Winter Shroud and Stylish Execution. Stylish will chain invis since defeating enemies affected by any debuff will cause you to go invisible. When you emerge from this invis, our Spirit of Grafalcon will grant us volatile rounds. This is considered a debuff, so this will trigger Stylish continuing on and on. So how are we going to take advantage of Inmost Light? Well, we are going to throw on our Smoke Bomb and Grapple Grenade. This will give us a way to weaken larger enemies, but Grapple Grenade gives us a way to move around and a good source of damage through the Grapple Nade melee. So as long as you're dodging around, throwing smoke, and grappling around everywhere, your cooldowns will be so fast. Now, if you throw on Gambler's Dodge, you will always have a smoke as long as you dodge around enemies. I prefer Marksman Dodge for the reload, but it's interchangeable, so just play how you want, I guess. For our fragments, throw on Facet of Mending, Protection, Devotion, Solitude, and Hope. Mending will grant us Cure on Grenade Final Blows, Transcendence Grenade Kills will grant a stronger effect, Protection will give us damage reduction while we are surrounded by combatants. Again, this effect is increased by Transcendent. Devotion will grant us bonus light transcendence energy for defeating targets affected by a darkness debuff. Solitude will sever targets after multiple precision hits. And Hope will give us more ability energy while we have an elemental buff. So, the basic game loop is this. Get Volatile Round. You can either grapple melee kill or smoke an enemy and get a kill. This will make you invisible and get you volatile rounds. Then because of Grafalcons, you can chain this forever. This will activate Facet of Hope since Invis is considered an elemental buff. If you grapple round, you will unravel enemies hit with the grapple melee, triggering healing from Facet of Mending if you kill something. And if you go into a group of enemies, you can dodge, slowing them with Winter's Shroud, triggering Facet of Devotion. This will also activate Facet of Protection since you will be surrounded. For the big boys you will have to deal with, you want to throw your smoke, hit with a 1-2 punch shoddy, then grapple melee. Then go crazy with the shoddy again. Facet of Solitude will activate on any enemy affected by your smoke, which if you do it just right, you can set off unraveling chaos that will do tons of damage on top of your volatile rounds. All of this ability chaining will be enhanced with Spirit of Inmost Light, bringing this whole build together. For your loadout, as I mentioned before, Throw on your favorite one 2 punch shotgun. This was good for when I wanted to be up close on a chunky enemy. I think throwing on any strand secondary will be great though. Something like the call could be a good sub if you don't want to use a shotgun. I threw on a void primary to take on full advantage of volatile rounds and any heavy you want to throw on. I chose galley just because I like galley. For the artifact. The two mods that are most important are Void Hegemony and Expanding Abyss, which will trigger whenever you use your Smoke Bomb and more Void things will happen. And that's the whole build. I really enjoyed this. Normally, I love running Grafalcons. It's one of my favorite builds. And when I'm not needing to run Golden Gun for damage, I'll probably be running this. I'll definitely keep my eye out for more Grafalcon combos as well as other fun exotic class combos. But... If you made it this far and you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Let me know what you think of this build in the comments and what exotic class combo can you not get enough of. That's it for me. I'll catch you in the next one.